I think looking at this roster, if you're Mono Ginobili, you realize that, if, and, and, and guess what? Marco Bellinelli is back to a guy who was, you know, you were rolling. When him, Boris Diaw, Patty Mills, they were, they were really tight when they were both here. Uh, all of them were here. Uh, and Tiago Splinter included. I, th I thought they had a very good rapport. Uh, Marco Bellinelli, I feel like, you know, I'm sure he's making calls like, hey, listen, I'm back. Come back. Work with me. Um, if you're if you're mono, I see that I think that you see that the Spurs, they're not going into a rebuilding mode. They're still trying to win. So if you have one more season in you, why not give it? You know, I'm not one to bother a man at Mono Ginobili's stature and say, hey, man, are you coming back? Let me know. I think he deserves it to, to make the decision when he wants to make it. And as Popovich said, you know, on Wednesday, he's out there living life in the Northwest, hunting for bears and stuff like that. Uh, so listen, I think Mono has it in him. I hope he comes back. I want him to come back. I think the Spurs want him to come back. The city definitely wants him to come back. Otherwise, they wouldn't be, you know, going out and, and filling out billboards. Uh, but at the same time, if he does leave, uh, you know, you just got to salute that. But at the same time, I think Mono Ginobili has a lot of basketball left. And if he decides to come back, that's going to make the Spurs even stronger heading into next season. You're watching Sports Tonight, San Antonio's only nightly 30-minute sportscast with exclusive sports coverage you won't find anywhere else.